you recognize the fan? You already know what we're here for. Hello, my name is Prue, or Prue LaRue. And if you didn't already pick up from the little intro, today we are playing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette. This is so cute. I'm actually super into the packaging now that I see it in real life. It is just, it's perfect. So I've already laid down some of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just gonna go straight in with some eyeshadows and we can have a bit of a chat about buying this palette. So the fan and the palette together, including shipping, cost me 120 Australian dollars. It arrived today, a couple hours ago. Um, do I think it was worth that? I don't know yet. I really, I can't, I can't be sure. I love the shade names of this. It just, I'm an Alyssa Edward Stan. I adore her. So let's go in with Unicorn Tribe. So Unicorn Tribe I know is named and that is what she calls her Beyond Belief Dance Company group. She has a dance company for children uh, in Texas. Uh, they also have a TV show on Netflix called Dancing Queen. And if you love um, reality TV show, drag queens, and we're kind of into dance moms, it is the perfect show for you. All right, I'm going to say this is coming off a bit different than what I thought. Uh, in the pan, it's like a more purple, and it's coming off as a pink. Well, I guess it's a pink purple, isn't it? I think I just thought it was going to be lighter. That's why I'm going a bit higher with it. So Dancing Queen is probably the show that kind of made me fall in love with Alyssa Edwards. She's a drag queen, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And she initially was on RuPaul's Drag Race. I believe it's season four. She had some great moments on there. And then she came back for All Stars. She's now like a huge queen of it all, really. All right, I'm feeling this brush. This is uh, the Wayne Goss number 17. All right, so I'm going to pull into Texas Made, which I had a different plan, but it's led me elsewhere. So I believe she won All Stars. And like, if you want to be... I know my sister only watches All Stars because she's like, what's the point of watching Drag Race? Because you see the ones who aren't as good as the others. Uh, so if you are, if you want to dabble your toes into Drag Race, I'd recommend starting at All Stars. Just checking it out. But Alyssa Edwards is like a character. She is extra. She's just so much fun to watch. I love watching her and like just her facial impressions are fantastic. So I was so excited to see this palette come out because it's such a cool combination of people, really. It has a music clip, which I don't know if I've seen another like eyeshadow palette have a music video go with it. I'll link it down below. Um, it's funny. I just, I don't know. I mean, even Trixie Mattel, Trixie, Trixie Cosmetics, that hasn't come out with a music it didn't come out with music to help release it or to celebrate its release. Uh, but it is catchy and just hilarious and very Alyssa. I feel like I'm talking about like I know her, but I don't. I just, I love her enough to buy this palette. I don't know if it's coming to Australia. I believe it said that it's coming on the 6th. But I really wanted the damn fan. So I bought it online. Let's go into Beyond Belief Dance Company, or BBDC. I know that HO is House of Edwards. I actually don't know what DDG stands for. I could Google it. Um, if you know what DDG stands for, please let me know. I am curious. And I'm excited that Anastasia is moving away from that their old packaging. With the, I don't know, the velvet on the outside. And we're seeing some more like cardboard like this which is just a fun change up and I'm super glad I did not buy the Riviera if I bought the Riviera I wouldn't be buying this now so I've lost track of the brush I was just using so I'm gonna go in with the one from the palette I haven't used these that much so I'm curious to have a bit more of a play with them I have a bit of a brush addiction, if you don't know. And I just love trying different stuff. Mm. Nope. 
want like a really nice blendy blend. Okay. I'm going to go into my Wayne Goss 6. And I'm going to mix Texas Made and a BBDC together. Now the shimmers in this palette, I'm going to say from one look at them, they don't look that good. We've got three. So let's swatch them. I'm going to, as much as I'm sure you love looking at my face, let's zoom you out. So I saw in Annette's video that she loves finger swatches. <laughs> no, I lie. Um, <laughs> here are the shimmers. So this is Inspire, DDG, and Beyond. All right. They just don't seem to have that same, hmm, there's something different about the way these shimmers are. And let's, let's just swatch Celestial. They're a bit softer. Well, actually, I guess I mean it's the same. They feel different when you touch them. That's like all I can say. I think they are more hardly pressed. What an interesting thing. Now I will say when they delivered this, it came in a package. I did take a picture of it. So I was really expecting these to be broken because my Norvina palette, when I initially ordered that, came broken. Um, one of them had smashed. So I think, I think these are, they're pressed harder. This is a good thing. We're moving in the right direction. I am a big fan. So I'm going to go into Colourpop's Exit for a lovely little white concealer moment. You know what, I'm sick of like trying to get it off the damn brush. I feel like I'm going to go in with DDG, which is our purple. Let me bring you back in. I don't know if you want to see what a shit job I did there. And I'm going to use DDG on the outer corner. I'm just going to tap this baby in. These are just a little bit harder than I'm used to from Norvina. Or I should say Anastasia. And then I'm going to, I'm not sure if this is going to look good. I'm going to do it anyway. Go in with Inspire. I've cleaned the brush. And this is just going to be the rest of the shade. No, it does need a little spritz in. I just want a little bit of a gentle blend between these two. And what should I do? Front of the eye. I know it's going on the inside of the inner corner. So should I just do that? But it's brick road! Because I am so excited for this yellow. Ever since I saw this palette, this yellow is what I've been thinking about. I've seen it on so many people's looks. It just, it, it does have a nice thing. Oh, it needs, it needs white base. Alright, I'm loving this brush. What's this? Oh, Morphe E18. Under the eye. I just can't help it. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna go into Believe. We're gonna keep it purple and pink and yellow. And a little bit of orange now. So they're still soft. They've still got that nice kick up. But it's not as... I don't know. The shimmers don't feel as soft as they have to be in the past. Which is a good, good and a bad thing, I think. Because a lot of people already love the formula. We've already been taught. We've, we have... We know how to use it. Um, so... It's a choice to change it. 
But it's not a bad change. And it now lasts 18 months instead of 12 months. How exciting is that? Yeah, see, little fella? 18 months. All right, I've got to go back into BBDC. This, I think it was my blending efforts that failed this part here. But I mean, purples also are notoriously patchy, so I can blame it on both. I just want to blow it out a little bit more with Texas May, which is that beautiful pink. And to be honest, that's currently my favorite color. The yellow is pretty good though, too. I don't know. Well, let's do some mascara. All right, I'm just gonna go in with a, a little bit of the Pad Girl Bang mascara. I realized I forgot to put a waterline in. So let's match this. Let's chuck in Punch from Colourpop. I don't know, I've just been really into matching my inner corner to my waterline. I feel like, I feel like we need a little bit of lighter. You know, the next epic liner. This is actually my first time using this. I'm just gonna quickly straighten my hair and be back. All right, I am back. I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs Sugar High lip stick and lip gloss. I am super happy with the look I've created today. I really like what I've done. What do you think of it? And what do you think of this palette? I think this palette, I like it. It's definitely got some good variety to it. I do think when it comes to the colors, and like the colors that draw me in. The Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions is right there in comparison, but I can't think of another palette that sort of is similar in tones. I think we're gonna see a lot of palettes like this this year, which I'm excited for and I love. I'm I'm totally here for all, all these different colors. And that blue, Dream It, oh my God. I cannot wait to use that shade. And I'm sorry, I've learned I'm a very gentle swatcher I don't like to get my hand in there too much. But anyway, I wanted to show you, so this is Brick Road from the Anastasia palette from the Huda Beauty. Here is the yellow that's in there. So there's some small differences, but it's nothing major. Texas Made, which was my favorite shade to use in this palette. Yeah. And then the pink from Electric Obsessions. So Huda Beauty is definitely I know this is 48 Australian and the Anastasia palettes usually go for $80 Australian. So this is about half the price and this definitely has all the colors that you probably want from this one. So if you're on a budget, check out the Electric Obsessions. This is such an easy palette that really has all those bangs of color that draw you in. I know a lot of people don't like the formula. I haven't had any problems with it. So I wonder, maybe I should um, do a look comparing one eye look with this and then the, the Huda Beauty and see what happens. See if it looks any different. Uh, but anyway, I am so happy with this palette. I'm so happy I bought it. I'm excited to have it. It just, it warms my little heart to own it. Especially just because I'm such a fan of Alyssa Edwards and I just, I love how extra everything was with this release. I wish I was like one of those people who are on the PR list and got like the mirror and everything, but it's not my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be paying for things over in my little corner, which I don't mind doing and I'm ha so happy to support her and to support this collaboration because I think it's a really cool one to have seen. And I do, uh, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know how much I love giant fans. And this is one giant fan. Uh, my other fan is from 
Vivacious, who is another drag queen performer. And I've seen her live, and it was amazing. They seem pretty comparable wise, except this one has a bit more glitter and glam to it. But I'm not complaining at all. I really enjoy. I really enjoy oversized pants. I just I think everyone should have one because it's it's just so much fun putting them out. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the look I created today. What you think of this palette? Is it something you're gonna get? Would you like to see more palette comparisons at the end of one of these videos, so that it might take a bit of that pressure off that you need to go buy this? Because I don't think anyone needs to go buy anything. It's just that I love buying shit, really. So, and I'm always excited to share it with you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate you and adore you. You just make my day. If you're new here, ah, oh, look, I'd love it if you even considered subscribing, let alone if you actually did it. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. You're amazing. Mwah.